here with Declan O'Brien after the uh, the one all draw against Valletta. Uh, Declan, a bit of a roller coaster week for yourself. Yeah, a strange week to be honest. It was probably preparing for a game in Galway with the dock on Monday, and all of a sudden I got the call that maybe uh, Pat and Jeff were interested. So I jumped at the chance to be fair because um, been playing opposition obviously, and for the dock playing a left wing and right wing, so absolutely delighted to be out there. You know, um, you came in. I think you only trained once with the squad yesterday. You're here to score goals, and uh, and you did that tonight. Yeah, I mean, I've, I've always said, I've always been uh, confident in my own ability of scoring goals, and um, I think if I get the chances, I'll score, I'll score goals. So hopefully, I'll get the chances here to do that. Obviously, uh, the squad is quite short with injuries and suspensions and that tonight. Um, what did Jeff say to you before he went out tonight? Yeah, I mean, he just said, you know, you get a hold of the ball, get into the game early, just make it stick up there, you know, good build up play, and if you get a chance, try and take it, and that's what I've done, you know. Perhaps what we've been missing this season is, uh, is someone, a poacher as such, in around the six yard box. Uh, you happy as a goal scorer with that sort of goal tonight? Yeah, they're the goals you love scoring as a, as, a, as a, whatever you might call it, a poacher or whatever. They're the goals that you'd love 20 of them a season. Like, you know, never mind, you don't score outside the box that much, it's just a striker, you know. So they're the ones that you feed off, you know, something like that. To get your uh, sun cream lotion ready for next week, uh, going out to Malta. But a um, serious job to be done, but we're still in this tie, aren't we? Definitely still in the tie. I think we're very capable of scoring out there. I think it's very disappointing now the second half. I have to be honest, I think it was, it was disappointing um, from defensively, from what was it, us up top, every, everywhere. We just set off them and they kind of let them really get into the game. And they, they started to fancy it then, you know, in the second half. So disappointing, but as I said, we're still in the tie. We've got some experienced players coming back, like Jay and Damien, players I've played with, uh, with Rada in big games. So they, they'd be well capable of coming in and um, doing a good job next week. You mentioned disappointment with the second half. Uh, first half, we controlled the game. Maybe could have been more than one up. Uh, what changed after half time? Was it a confidence thing, maybe? Yeah, I think not even confidence. I think ex a bit of experience, a bit of maybe players that were coming back as well from injuries and stuff. And fitness wise, I thought we just set off. We didn't really have the legs we had in the first half, you know. So that's that's, that's probably an issue there. We we we'll, we'll have to address. But that's something that only a few month, few weeks training will bring to the lads is more higher, higher levels of fitness and that. So I think I think uh, in the next in the next game, obviously we'll have another week under our belt. So I think we'll be in better shape going over. And your own fitness, obviously you've had your, your own problems well documented over the last couple of years. You've been playing back now for the last number of months now with Dundalk. How, how are you feeling fitness-wise? Yeah, I haven't missed a training session in probably three, three months, four months. No problems at all.